tips. I'm Mark Fidget with your number one source for real mortgage advice. Why should you pull your credit and how should you pull your credit? Those are two questions that I get asked quite often. So really briefly, why should you pull your credit? Well, if you're like me, you've probably been hearing a lot about identity theft. Well, it starts on the credit bureau. So if you're looking at your credit bureau, quite often you can detect the irregularities before it gets out of hand. But most importantly, you need to make sure you know what's going on. You need to make sure that everything's correct. I'll give you a personal example. My daughter goes to the University of Victoria and she was driving one of my vehicles and got two tickets on campus. Well, I subsequently got the tickets in the mail, $125. I gave them to my daughter and I said, make sure you pay this. Well, as most of you know, I pull my credit bureau at least three to four times a year. Well, the next thing I know, I pull my credit bureau and I see a collection on there for $125. It's the parking tickets. Well, I call my daughter. Needless to say, I'm furious, but she assures me she paid it. But she paid cash and she didn't hang on to the receipt. So I had to call up the University of Victoria, get a hold of the campus parking division, request a copy faxed to me confirming the payment, and I subsequently had to fax that to Equifax, the credit bureau, but the best I could expect is that they zero the balance because that stays on there for six years. But the point here is if I didn't see it, I wouldn't know it. So it's really important that you check. I don't know how many stories I can tell you of clients that when I talk to them and I pull their credit bureau, the things I find on there that they didn't even know exist. So make sure you check. How you do it? Listen, if you're like me, you like to see things. So I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration on the screen, and I'll be back to you in about 20 seconds. So sit back, relax, okay, and just Okay, here a we go. Just a quick this. little demo now of how you're going to pull your credit bureau. So here we are. Type in www.equifax.ca. You're going to come upon the website. And if you just look down here, if you scroll down, you'll see it says order now, score power. Now understand that you can order your credit bureau for free through the mail. Now it's not going to have your beacon score. Mind you, it will have everything else. So if you're, if you're purely just uh, ordering your credit bureau to make sure that you know, nothing's going on there and everything's correct, you can order it by mail for free. Uh, but I like to get the Beacon Score because being in the lending business, I know that all these programs are Beacon Score driven. So if you know your Beacon Score right away, you know whether you qualify or whether you don't, and you can save a lot of time. So anyway, click on this Score Power here, and you're going to come onto this screen. Now, there's two options here. There's Equifax Credit Report, and then below here, you'll see Score Power uh, Credit Score. So instead of, you don't want to learn more, you want the order now. Uh, the one underneath here, Credit Watch, don't worry about that one. You want this score power. So you're going to click on Order Now. Now, it's $23.95, and basically here's the order and registration. You need your first name, your last name, date of birth, street address, city, province, postal code, telephone number, email address. Uh, you're going to need to just accept a little privacy document there. And then you're going you're gonna to click a username and a password. And then once you do that, you hit continue. It's going to prompt you for payment method. And then if everything goes well, a PDF should open up right on the screen. And you can save that PDF right to your computer, or you can print it out or do both. Um, if you do have an issue, which I have seen sometimes, it's because something's not right on your credit bureau. So you will have to phone the 1-800 number. Be patient. It takes a little while to get through, but it's really worth uh, getting it corrected so that you can do this online anytime. Now, as I said, I do this three to four times a year. Okay, so I'm going to take you back Welcome and back. we're out of this screen and back to the other one. Now you see how easy it's to do. Well, listen, getting it is one thing, understanding it is another. So if you have any questions whatsoever, remember it's not all about interest rates. It's about the right advice at the right time. So next time you're looking and you're not sure and you've got a question, take out your phone, look up my number and dial 604-273. 2002. And remember, I'm just a click away at www.notapennydown.com. As usual, make it a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.